Okay, we're at McCall Residence. Um, we're going to call this McCall Residence driveway. Uh, it's an asphalt driveway out in Ording, up on the hills near the Buttes at 20417 189th Avenue Court East. This is uh, my parents' driveway, and I'm at the bottom of the hill right now. They want to uh, continue this asphalt up the hill and up to the top where the cul-de-sac is. And uh, it looks like this. I'm at the bottom there. And the measurement is 314 feet by 14. And then 23 by 4 where it ties in on the side of some existing asphalt near the cul-de-sac. Uh, comes out to 4,488 square feet. The grade changes from anywhere from 10% to 20. So it's about 10% until you get to the power pole. And then there's a little steep section. That's at about 20%, and then it drops to 15, and then goes back down to about 10 to 12% up at the top. All right, and I'm going to show you that as we go up the hill. But down here at the bottom, we've got a 10 by 8 patch. We'll just call this a 10 by 10, really, that needs to be fixed here. There's a sinkhole right here, and everything flows this direction. So this would need to be cut out and replaced. Right now, I think it's at two and a half inches. And then we've got another little spot right here next to the uh, wall where it's a, a three by two. It needs to be patched as well. So rip out two and a half inches, put back two and a half inches, and we'll go up the hill. So at the top of the hill is where we can stage up, up above, and I'll show you where that's at. Because down here, all you have is a rel my relatives driveway that goes down in dead ends and then you've got their driveway here and all this water flows down into this area so as you go up the hill the hope is that this could be widened one foot on the left and one foot on the right and make this 14 feet because right now this is 12 feet so a um, lot of rock up here so everything drains really well the water flows down this hill pretty rapidly too and comes down onto their asphalt as you can see from the uh, stain got a power pole right here underneath there's power so we got to make sure locates done this is a 60 foot easement so we can widen it however we want when we go up the hill okay so we're gonna drive up here real quick I'll show you what we got there's a house that's being built on the left hand side so they're just doing dirt work. So this will probably be ready in 2020. Uh, this is late August and they're just getting ready to form footings and stuff for foundation. But this can be widened up right here on the left and on the right. Left and right. Uh, right here is where the steepest grade is where my finger is at. It goes to about 20% right on this steep spot. So uh, I'm trying to get this excavated by... The neighbor where this hill can come down and we can take this 20% down a little bit get this ready to go hopefully get it graded somewhat to where we can come and put gravel down do a little bit of grading ourselves so we'll have to plug in some time for our own grading but the hope is that the road will go right towards that tree this will get cut down a little bit or chopped down a little bit we don't we won't have to haul out any dirt or gravel they're saying that we could probably get rid of it here on the hill so any excavation that is done can stay no hauling out and then right up here we'll tie into this asphalt so here's a view from the top this road instead of it coming this way might come this way a little bit because they have a 60 foot easement and we can make this a little bit more gradual instead of it being so steep right at this point here so it comes up goes around ties into this asphalt and then we extend this out four feet on this radius and tie it into the existing sidewalk that's up here all right here's our staging point so if we come down we can stage down here at the cul-de-sac on both sides because the only house that's here is uh, one that's down here um, my parents and neighbors and then uh, my aunt's old house right over here so it's pretty quiet over here 
up on the hill. So anyways, uh, staging right here. Uh, the Buttes Road comes up and there's access to the gate and uh, I'll have to try to get um, the gate code so you can come into the gate and have access here. I'm thinking we might want to put 5 8 rock on this, possibly. I'm not sure. I'm about to get a second opinion on that from our team. But I was thinking that if we did even just a, a couple, we did a couple inches of 5 8 going up the road the and then roll that out pack it in that might be good or we might be able to use what's existing right here but i think because there's so many big boulders we'll probably have to put a couple inches of five eights out on this after it's graded all right uh this is for 2020 any questions let me know